while the whole tefillah of Ashrei is crucial, there's one pasuk which we are told is essential, so much so that it requires additional kavana. And if we don't have that kavana, we are meant to repeat that part of the tefillah. That is the line of Poseach es yodecha umasbiya lechol chayratzon, that Hashem open, opens your hand umasbiya lechol chayratzon and satisfies the desire of every living creature. However, one who considers the philosophical ramifications of this line ends up with a bit of a question because while we know that God is incredibly gracious and God gives us what we need ultimately, is it really true that Hashem is masbiya lechol chai ratzon? Is it really true that every creature have exactly, has exactly what they desire? We are not lacking anything that we want. Is there nobody who is lacking sustenance or food or a place to live or a shidduch or a child or something else that they might want? Of course, on, a, on the surface level. And of course, we confront situations that we have desires which are not yet met. But I'd like to share two answers to this very difficult question. Likely the answer is not satisfying the questioner and recognizing that there are more answers and ultimately the answer that we don't understand. But two, two answers suggested. The first comes from a marshal from Chaim Kanievsky Shlita. And he explains that there was once a king who announced on a certain day that everybody in his, under his rule would receive 10 silver coins. And everyone got them, but there were a few individuals who actually owed the king 10 coins. And instead of that person receiving 10 coins, their debt was forgiven. And when the king announced, okay, everyone had received their 10 coins, this individual goes and tries to find where were my 10 coins until he's found out. He, he discovers that he wasn't given those 10 coins because he had a debt. And in fact, he was given those 10 coins, but they had gone towards that debt forgiveness. Explains of Chaim Kanievsky, oftentimes we don't understand and we don't get certain things that we may feel we need or we may feel we want, but that serves as a kapara, that serves as a, an atonement for that which we owe God. Alternatively, Hashem is the ultimate investor. Hashem knows what's best for us and knows what we truly, knew, know, what we truly need or don't need. And it could be that what God is doing is for certain people who he understands better than we can understand, says they may not need those 10 coins in this world, but we're going to invest those 10 coins in the world to come. So while it may cause a certain struggle, a certain affliction even in this world, it is ultimately being reserved for that person for the world to come. The conclusion, of course, is that we have no idea the way that God works. All we know is that we do, under all circumstances, receive what we need. And that Hashem is masbiya lechol chayrat. So Hashem satisfies the desire of everyone. That doesn't mean the desire according to our own desires, but it means Hashem gives us what we need. And Hashem saves for us that which will be most beneficial for us at the appropriate time, for the appropriate measure. Have a great day.